My name is Sean Thomas. My background is in electronic engineering and optoelectronics. I've been in the IP intellectual property profession for over 25 years. I've used my expertise in electronics to develop a, a wide range of different products in many different fields. My daughter was born very premature. Her mother had preeclampsia where the blood pressure can rise to very dangerous levels within the mother. Emily was in an intensive care unit. She was in there with about six or seven other babies. The nurses and doctors looked after them 24 hours a day. She was covered in sensors and everything which were applied to her skin. It was a very noisy environment uh, and a very frightening environment for a parent to, to welcome their, their child into the world. Emily was essentially being kept alive by all the machines that were there. Sometimes I would go into the intensive care unit. Unfortunately, there, was, there would be empty cots. Not all the babies make it through. When Emily was three to four weeks old, she was able to be fed with a nasogastric tube. The nasogastric tube is inserted into the nose. Food, essentially, is fed directly into the stomach. But it's very important for the nasogastric tube to be inserted into the stomach. What can happen is that the tube can be inserted incorrectly into the lungs, and that can be very dangerous for the patient and even fatal. So when the healthcare professionals were actually placing the tube or feeding through the tube, they were very anxious whether the tube was in the right place. And it was my thoughts at the time, how could such a basic procedure of feeding a baby result in healthcare professionals actually feeling all this anxiety and it being so complicated procedure to do. We were one of the lucky ones. Emily made it through and was able to come out of the intensive care unit very healthy. Some others, unfortunately, didn't make it through. We're very lucky that Emily has grown up to be a healthy, lovely, beautiful young woman. We returned to the hospital. I could see that the problems still existed. With my expertise in electronics and optoelectronics, put me in a very good place where I could actually solve those problems and alleviate that anxiety that the nurses were going through. The NGPOD device works by having a pH sensitive color sensor at the end of an optical fiber. Light is then introduced in one end. The light reflects the color on the end of the optical fiber back up so that it can be seen. Once I'd tested my device, I realized that I could actually make a difference. NGPOD is also advantageous because the test is actually carried out in the stomach as opposed to testing the pH outside the stomach, which can cause cross-contamination of the fluid and incorrect values of pH being measured. Thinking back to all the things we went through when she was first born. I just hope the NGPOD device can help other parents in that situation.